these rare people who is so eloquent, thinks so quickly on his feet, and is just really inspiring to listen to. We're going to be spending some time on uh, a document he wrote in 1998 called An Incomplete Manifesto for Growth, um, which went viral before the expression going viral was even thought of. Well, I think what Penn does in terms of fighting for the freedom of authors and the freedom of ideas um, is, for me, central to, uh, to the work that I do. Well, I think that, um, I, I think it's a, uh, a really important metaphor for the, the reality that we're living with because you, everyone comes into this room you have the feeling that everyone is here but in fact there are many people around the world who are not able to be part of this and not able to join in their own discussions in their own context and it's a very powerful idea مشخص برای فعالیت های حقوق بشر در یکی این خانم شیرین عبادی گفته یکی از آخرین وکل هاییه که داره واقعا برای جامعه دموکراتیک ایران برای یک جامعه بهتر برای یک جامعه که دموکراسی درش می و حاکم باشه در این فعالیت می کنند It's both an honor and privilege for me as an Iranian Canadian theater artist who was forced to leave his homeland 30 years ago to accept this award on behalf of National Sutubi. You can imprison a person, but not an idea. You can exile a person, but not an idea. You can kill a person, but not an idea. Thank you. Number two, forget about good. Good is a known quantity. Growth is an exploration of unlit recesses. As long as you stick to good, you'll never have real growth. Number 14. Don't be cool. Cool is conservative fear dressed in black. Number 30. Organization equals liberty. Number 42. Remember. Growth is only possible as a product of history. Without memory, innovation is merely novelty. I'm going to stay right here and protect this little turf. Yeah. And I'm going to stay here and as long as I stay here, you know, I just stand here up against the wall, I'm cool. But if I go out dancing and uh, make this, you know, I don't know how to do it, and I, you know, make an, an ass of myself, uh, that's not cool. But. I'm not going to learn how to do that stuff unless I am willing to do it. And so, um, I mean, for me, it's been a constant challenge to, to try to understand where are the opportunities to look like an ass. <laughs> Finally, says the 20th, the 20th century will not be remembered as an era either of uh, of conflict and violence or of technology and innovation. Uh, he said that the big idea of the 20th century will be that we dare to imagine the welfare of the entire human race as a practical objective. Uh, that was 1957, it's now you know, almost 50 years later. Let's go find out if this is true. But the most amazing thing that happened in that process is that a group of high school students said, you're thinking too small. And I was like, well. It said this to you. Yeah. They said that, you know, I said, like, it's Arnold Toynbee, like, all mankind, you know, all the human... It's pretty big. The entire human race as a, you know, as a practical objective. And they said, take out the entire human race and put in all of life. That's our program.